Hey guys, it's Kim from All Things Wild North Georgia, and today I'm going to show you how to hook a venomous snake. Uh, we get a lot of calls about snakes, and I help run several pages on Facebook, one being Wild Snakes Education and Discussion. And Mike asked me to show you guys how I hook venomous snakes. Uh, we see a lot of mishandling. Maybe this will give you a few pointers. Um, it is a definite thing that you have to practice. I would suggest practicing with non-venomous first before you move on up to venomous, but we're going to show you how it's done. So this is how when I'm on movie sets, TV shows, and I'm removing snakes, or if I'm coming to your house even and maybe you have a venomous snake, this is how I'm going to handle them. Love my hooks from Midwest. I'm going to hook that front upper body. Come on, little girl. She ain't so little. With me being 5'4", I really need to use these double hooks. As you can see, she is a big, hefty snake. And I get her down in and unhook her. And that's how you safely double hook a venomous snake. So if you see me on the TV shows and the movie sets, you usually see me walking around with my blue hooks and my red bucket. Um, this can be ordered from uh, Animal Equipment by Stoney. Love his buckets, they have a nice seal on the top. Uh, but you will see me carrying this around set versus dragging around this large trash can. This is for you people at home, okay? So one of the things I do like to do is I like to see where she's going. Is she, is she a flight risk? Is she in a flighty mood? Even though she's in a defensive pose right now, she's actually being very calm and she, she's being cordial, I like to say and she's gonna be pretty easy to handle. I do like you keep your hooks up and facing forward. It's not this, it's not this. Sometimes you do end up getting crossed, but you really don't wanna end up like this, okay? It's always gonna be like this. Uh, me being shorter, I also brace them under my forearms. For you shorter girls with heavier snakes, that's what we gotta do, sisters. Brace them under your forearms. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to hook that front, mid-body, pick up a little pine straw here, get her in the bucket, now if you have the tongs, whoo, the safest way to go about it is to actually pick up the lid with the tongs and get them on there. Hold it down to get your seal tight. That is the safest way to handle a venomous snake using tongs and hooks. I really suggest that you practice with non-venomous snakes. Um, moving venomous snakes is not just something that you go and do for fun. I do this for work. This is my job. I work with these guys a lot. Um, if you feel like your family is in danger, call a professional. Don't try to do it yourself, but if you have to, you've seen how I kind of handle it, and hopefully you can take some of these clues that I've showed you and make them your own, but always be safe, and always keep the safety of the snake in mind as well.